Question number 11, Tararoa Flavel. Tenapu, Mr. Speaker, kia ora tātou, tau tuku ana i ngā mihi ki atu mataunga, te rei takoto mai rā, tōna kainga. To the Minister for the Environment, uh, the question reads, does she agree with the Bay of Plenty Regional Council Pollution Prevention Manager, Nick Zaman, uh, that, quote, courts, council and the wider community will not tolerate the pollution of our environment, end of quote, and if so, what action will she take to encourage farmers and farm owners to comply with their legal responsibilities to protect waterways? The Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I certainly agree that all New Zealand is rightly concerned to ensure that water quality is maintained and, when possible, enhanced. That's why this government is taking clear action against water degradation from all sources, not just farming, including implementing the Fresh Start for Fresh Water programme, establishing the Land and Water Forum, assisting in the refreshing and expanding of the Dairy and Clean Streams Accord, including nutrient budget, budgeting and stream fencing, preparing and implementing the National Policy Statement on Fresh Water, doubling penalties for RMA offences, and working with local authorities to ensure their property properly monitoring and enforcing standards. And I note that Mr Zayman went on to say that actually most farms are doing a really good job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What mechanisms does government have to ensure the proper checks and monitoring are in place to prevent the unlawful discharge of effluent? And if so, what responsibility can government expect of the industry for the way in which it responds to the effluent, um, effluent spill in Maketu uh, by Arma Farms? The Honourable Mr. Speaker, well, Mr. Speaker, central government's role in this is to set the framework, including uh, the, the, the legislation on which it operates and the penalties, which, as I noted, we have doubled. It's the responsibility of local government to be concerned with the monitoring and enforcing of res resource consent conditions. And for our part, what we do is we work very closely with local councils to ensure that they are adequately carrying out those monitoring and enforcement obligations. And I would say that we expect industry, regardless of its sector, to be properly managing the environment impacts of their activities. Total off level. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I can ask the Minister, what influence will the Dairy Industry Restructuring Bill have in assisting farmers and farm owners to comply with the Daring and Clean Streams Accord? The Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr Speaker, I'd just suggest that the Member is probably better to set down any questions he has uh, around that bill to the Minister in charge of it, uh, the Minister for Primary Industries. Question number 12, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr.